former coach at Arkansas, now working for CBS Sports College Football Analyst Houston Nutt. Uh, by the way, looking great, Houston. Thanks. thanks for joining us. Good to be here. All right, McLovin, your question that involves the SEC and might bother Houston Nutt. No, I want to hear Coach make his case here. Which would you rather go to in person? To see the Olympics in Rio or the SEC game of your choice this <laughs> fall? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I tell I've seen a lot of SEC games, so I'll go to Rio. Yeah. I've been there one time before with Eddie Sutton's group and uh, had the privilege to be there with the triplets, sit on the bench, but I got to play a little bit, and uh, that was a beautiful place. Beautiful place. Wait, you played football in Rio? Basketball. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. I played both. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, so that's why you wanted to shoot hoops with yeah. me. Yeah. I, I, every time I tune in, you're shooting hoops in between the yeah. – you know, that was my goal. I wanted to shoot hoops with you. Oh. Me. <laughs> I am the Nick Saban of shooting hoops, though, just to let you know. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, this, this story greater is uh, – it, it's a story about a walk-on. His name is Brandon Bullsworth, and uh, he had a dream of playing in the SEC – so he goes to the University of Arkansas, and he's a walk-on. Um, he had glasses, those big, Clark big black, Kent, yeah. yeah, Clark Kent glasses. Um, the movie, by the way, opens uh, this Friday. And in, if you're a coach, bring your team. If you're a parent, you want to bring your kids and their friends. To learn more, go to uh, greaterthemovie.com. You can watch the trailer as well. How did this movie get made? How did somebody realize that this guy was worthy of doing a movie on you know, Brandon uh, was talked about a lot. It, you know, he, the, the tragic death when he passed. It was so sad. Now, that's uh, right after he got drafted by the Colts. Right after. Ten days after. Dan, right after. Right after he just had a good, you know how they bring the rookies in after the draft? Yeah. They loved him. He was really, I think uh, Coach Mudd said that he's the only rookie they gave the playbook to because they knew, they really thought this guy would start. They thought Brandon would start as a rookie. Uh, either guard or tackle. So a walk-on who now is yeah. going to start in the NFL. Exactly. And they thought he'd be there a long, long time. And I believe he would be. Uh, he, he he had such character. You know, it's almost too good to be true. When I first met this young man, uh, kind of shy, big six foot four, 315 pounds, waited after a meeting, kind of hung around, said, Coach, can I visit with you a minute? I said, yeah, sure, Brandon. Would you please don't ever use the word rebuild? We, 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 we haven't had much success, but my teammates, Russ Brown, Grant Garrity, named a few guys, Anthony Lucas, Clint Sterner, we paid a price. We, we, we're ready to win, and we want to win. We'll do anything you want us to do. But they've been 4-7 and seven and 4-7. and seven. And so really sent a message to me like, hey, look, are you getting the freshmen ready for the, for the new wave? Because this is – I only have three months of football left at Arkansas. And so he sent a real message. So, uh, anyway, long story short, and to answer your question, I, I just think there was so much talk about this guy as a walk-on who earned a scholarship, All-American. And, you know, I, I think with his brother, Marty, and a few other people, they said, hey, this would be a great, great movie. People are going to cry at this, aren't they? I, I think so. I think so. How did you find out he had died in a car accident? I got a call, um, and this this tells you a lot about Brandon, too. He told me that the day before, he says, Coach, now it's a Wednesday, so I'll be driving home. We're, we're passing out our championship rings, our SEC Western Championship rings. And uh, he says, it's Wednesday, so I'm going to take my mother to church like I always do on Wednesday night. So uh, I'm going to miss the the handing the, the meeting of the rings. I said, okay, all right, come get it the next He's day. He's driving home. He's driving home from Fayetteville to Harrison. To t and how far is that? It's about 60, 62, three miles, but it's a kind windy, of a windy road. road, yeah. So he's driving home to take his mom to church yep. the next day, misses the ring ceremony. Right. And then dies in the car accident. Exactly. So I get a phone call, and it's just, uh, you're just in shock. Can't believe it. Movie comes out on Friday. It's called Greater, and its story is Brandon Bullsworth, uh, a walk-on. Now, we consider the greatest walk-on, well, it's a documentary. It's not a movie. It's Rudy. Oh, yeah. great movie. I mean, that's not love a movie. It. That's love a documentary. It. It's a true story. I love it. I yeah. love it. Do you have a, a favorite football movie? But I love Rudy. I love Rudy. You cry at Rudy? Have uh, you cried at Rudy? I got a, got, a little, got a little teary a little bit. A little bit. How little would bit. you have handled if everybody's bringing their jerseys in and putting it on your desk? <laughs> All right? What, what, what would a coach uh, really have done there, yeah. Houston? Uh, 
you know, <laughs> you shake your head like, hey, get the jerseys out of here, guys, you know. But uh, Would you have cut Rudy? No, I can't cut Rudy. Can't cut Rudy. I got to have Rudy on our team. Did you ever have a Rudy? I did. You I had did. a couple of Rudys, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. Why, wait, what, what's, what purpose do those guys serve? You know what they serve? It's 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 so contagious in the locker room that this guy, you know, the, the the starters are looking down at this five foot six guy, and they know that he'll never probably step out in the field. But he's at every practice holding that dummy, handing a Gatorade to. He's a teammate, a thorough one hundred percent teammate. Yeah. He, he's a cheerleader for you, always there. What's tougher, coaching in the SEC or recruiting in the SEC? Recruiting is is twenty four seven, three hundred sixty five days. It's 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 always the toughest, and uh, it always comes down to those last five or six. That is for sure the hardest job. Who really broke your heart? What player? Who broke my heart? Um, I got to go to Rocky Top in Knoxville in nineteen ninety eight. We are rolling, and um, the ball slips out of Clint Sterner's hand. I really feel like if we win that ball game, we're going all the way. And uh, we we fumble that ball, and uh, we gift wrap for Phil Fulmer a national title. They score the very next or the two plays later. They score. We had that game won. We're did, just we're trying to run out the clock. Did did uh, Fulmer ever thank you? Uh, I always reminded him. <laughs> hey, you need to thank me. <laughs> give me your best. Give me your best recruiting story. Oh, my Whether goodness. you want to name names or not. Yeah, I won't name names. <laughs> well, the best recruiting stories is when um, the assistants have them set up. You have visits, 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock. You know, so you fly in here, and you're going from living room to living room. Well, at 1 o'clock, we get there, and it's mama has a spread. I mean, I mean, it's 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 chicken. It's mashed potatoes and gravy. It's homemade biscuits you're eating. And, and of course, you never turn down seconds. So at three o'clock, <laughs> you have another one. I got another one, <laughs> and it's it's. I mean, it's laid out again, and and it's homemade apple pie, and so I'm eating <laughs> eating seconds again, and and it's six thirty day, and here's another one. It's and I'm I'm looking, at, I looked at Chris Vaughn, one of my sisters. Don't tell me we got another. <laughs> we got another dinner tonight, and so that that was tough to 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 feel so bloated and still be hungry, pretend to be hungry. We first met. At Oklahoma State, this had to be 1988? 87 or 88. 87, 88. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're there. Uh, Barry Sanders was there. Uh, Pat Jones was the head coach. And um, I just remember, I love the Barry Switzer line. Uh, Oklahoma head coach says, whatever you do to, he's saying to his own team, <laughs> do not hurt Thurman Thomas because we don't want Barry Sanders to get into the game. Was Barry that, I mean, oh. we, we saw it, but you were there. Oh. Best football player you ever saw? Well, Th Thurman Thomas was good, too. Now, he's now, great. Hall of he's Famer. a great Hall of Famer. So, he was, both these guys were phenomenal practice players. They love football. And so, but Barry, I've never seen a guy that could get into a full speed step on the first step. Did I you mean, recruit him? No. No. Uh, really... We kind of lucked into it a little bit because nobody was recruiting Barry Sanders very heavily. He's no Wichita, Kansas. Yeah, uh, ten sisters and a brother, and and I think at the end maybe Kansas State might have offered. And so George Walstead was recruiting him. Yeah, and uh, we kind of luck into the deal. And then he gets to campus and he vertical jumps about forty two inches and uh, runs a four three seven. And <laughs> you know, all of a sudden, hey, this guy might be okay. Yeah. <laughs> Why aren't you coaching now? I don't know. I don't know. I still got a lot left, but uh, it's well, you're what mid fifties. I'm fifty eight. Yeah, yeah, a lot of energy. That's young. There was about thirty two jobs last year, and uh, about twenty eight of them were given to forty years and younger. So there's a little bit of a different swing. And I probably made a mistake after I wanted to take one break after I got let go for the first time in my life at Ole Miss. Um, take one breather, and I had two or three opportunities. Um, and I thought, well, I'll always I'll get the next one after next year. And uh, the, more, the more you sit on that sideline now, uh, it, it's a different world. Search firms. Uh, oh, yeah. The ADs use search firms. Yeah. And so they want that next hot guy, that next hot offensive coordinator, and they'll have to go through a little learning curve on the job. Would you take a job at a smaller school? Oh, yeah. Yeah. If it's the right one, you know, the right one, right? You just miss the relationships. You miss the, the celebrated locker room. You know, I talk to a lot like Darren McFadden and, 
uh, talked to him a lot. As you talked to a lot of former players, the Anthony Lucases, and you know, you you got relationship Dexter McCluster, and well, plus and, you get to August, and you're thinking. That's when, oh, that's, oh, when the, that's when that's the time. Like the feeling oh. this time of the year. Eat, sleep, football. That's the time. You Could you, if you want to yell at my Dan Ets right now, <laughs> like let's say somebody jumped offside. Paulie, Paulie, get over here and jump offside. And I want you to act like you're, you're coaching. And Paulie's done this three times in a row, coach. All right. Paulie jumps offside. Go, Paulie! Run it. Paulie, hit it. Oh, there wow. you go. Like hit it, yeah. like hit shower. It. Well, they no, they know to go hit that, hit that fence. There's about a thousand yard fence. Go hit the fence. Just go hit the fence. Yeah. Come, yeah. Back. come back. Yeah. So that's your yeah. punishment yeah. would be. Oh, uh, there's different. There we have, you know, we have a little variety. We have a little variety. You know, you you gotta you gotta know the snap count. That's the only advantage we have. You know. Did you, did you was your goal to get your guys to throw up during camp? Like workouts? Not really, not really. Uh, you know, they 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 work out all summer. That's it's different. It, you know, back in the day when I played, it was okay. Let's get ready. Let's go home, get a job, and let's come back and get ready for the conditioning test. Yeah. Well, now it's year round. Yeah. Dan, these these strength coaches. I mean, you feed them, and it's a great time to be a student athlete right now. I mean, you get you get all the food you want, and uh, you're in shape. So you don't need that. You don't need to try to kill them. The movie is Greater. It's mm -hmm. uh, in theaters coming up this Friday. Go to uh, greaterthemovie.com. You can watch the trailer, and uh, it's a tearjerker there. If you're a coach, bring your team. If you're a parent, bring your kids and their friends. Um, let, me, let me tell you one, one little short story about Brandon. I think okay. it's kind of it tells you about this guy. He, he, um, he cared so much, and we were getting ready for really our first conference game at Alabama, and we didn't have a very good practice Wednesday. Our offices in the Brawls Center are there on the side. of They have an indoor 50-yard workout. And we hear, as we come out about 9.45, 10 o'clock Wednesday night, didn't have a good practice, we hear kind of sh we hear the turf, the turf shoes on turf, and it's dark. You know, we hear somebody move. Somebody's out there. So we'll go out there, and, and, it's, and it's Brandon. I said, Brandon, what in the world are you doing 10 o'clock at night? Coach, I, I, didn't, I didn't practice good today. My steps weren't right. So I'm going to make sure my powers and counters and my steps are going to be right against Alabama. And that, that was his mindset. He cared so much. He loved his teammates. He would do anything. And he had these words that he'd always say in the huddle. You can hear it from the sideline sometimes. It was third and one or fourth and inches. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? And it just would resonate in the huddle and with the teammates. And um, just an unselfish guy, just a winner. And um, got to go see this movie. The movie is uh, greater, and it's uh, in theaters Friday. Uh, this segment brought to you by our Coach's Corner, brought to you by Continental Tire. You'll see Continental Tire at uh, sporting venues across the U.S., proud supporter of uh, IMSA Racing, Major League Soccer, College Basketball. Continental's premium products are available at leading independent tire dealers, car dealers, mass retail companies across North America. For more information, visit ContinentalTire.com. Continental Tire for what you do. Great to see you, Houston. Thank you. You we get appreciate you it. get host of the day to fly in from Rio, and just get. I mean, guys, that's host of the. Come on. How bad do you want it? Uh, that's it. How bad do you How want bad it? How bad do you want it? <laughs> the Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.